What's been holding Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 from going live is an issue related to Entity Graph. And since yesterday, CIG did drop multiple Entity Graph fixes in that patch. And today, we gotten some more information from CIG pertaining to this patch. So what they said is they do not intend to drop a new EPTU patch today. And what they've noticed is that the entity graph fixes that they did employ yesterday is actually holding up. So this is what they said in the message of the day. It says the entity graph fixes from last night have been holding steady and appears to have resolved the issue. We are not intending to release a new 3.23 EPTU update today. We'll have more news throughout the day. All right, so this gives me an indication that there's a good possibility that we may see a Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 going into the live servers today. So now let me remind you, since Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 went into EPTU for Wave 1, they've dropped a patch every single business day, from what I recall. And for them to have indication that the blocker has been addressed with the latest patch, and the fact that they do not intend to drop an EPTU patch today gives me indication that they may be happy with the build and might be a release candidate. So now I did hop in yesterday and tested it. I did a copying mission and it was relatively smooth. I did not notice any hitches at all. It was smooth to load into the landing zones, the major landing zone. I was at Orson when I did it and, um, it was a smooth experience all throughout. So it's a solid patch from my perspective, the little that I played yesterday. And um, so I I can believe that it is possible that we may get a live build today, but we'll have to see. Just to let y'all know, I am doing a giveaway for the Mirai Pulse. If you want to participate, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video from now till the end of June. The goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do it without you. Let's move on. In other news, CIG did give a sneak peek of a potentially new variant or a Mark II version of the Saber Raven. So now I'm gonna put up an image right here from the tweet from Star Citizen or Robert Space Industries, their Twitter channel and um, it looks like a rework of the Saber Raven or an entire new variant to the Saber that might be um, in the realm of e-warfare or stealth or a mix of both. I'm not exactly sure what this thing, uh, what features this thing will entail, but it looks like we might see a new um, Raven or a Saber, a new variant of a Saber or a Mark II version of the Raven in this upcoming free flight event, which is going to be, I believe, next week. Okay, so um, yeah, so we're getting some interesting things. We're getting some new vehicles. We're getting some new uh, ships variants. Hopefully, we'll get some new ships, entirely new ships. And I hope to see the RSI Polaris. Hopefully, we can get an interior tour of it. If not, we'll be looking forward to seeing it fly around in the PU. And I'm sure some other players will look to try to glitch into it and fly it themselves, but we'll have to see. All right, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.